We gather here today in the presence of family and friends to join Michael and Jill in matrimony. We celebrate the coming together in love of this woman and this man. We remember that marriage is a time when growing love is made public, when two people share mutual promises. We join in our support of them as they offer themselves to each other. We celebrate their joy, their love, and their expectations. On behalf of the bride and groom, I would like to thank each one of you for sharing this happiest of days with them. They would also like to acknowledge loved ones who are no longer physically with us, but are here with us in spirit as we celebrate this joyous occasion. Michael and Jill, may you always need one another, not so much to fill the emptiness, as to help each other know your fullness. May you want one another, but not out of love. May you embrace one another, but not encircle one another. May you succeed in all important ways with each other, and not fail in the little graces. Look for things to praise. Often say I love you, and take no notice of small faults. May you have happiness, and may you find it in making one another happy. May you have love, and may you find it in loving one another. As you each take steps in your journey as a newly married couple, I would like to share with you a reading that expresses the love you feel for one another and the significance of the promises you will make to each other this day. Why marriage? Because to the depths of me, I long to love one person with all my heart, my soul, my mind, my body. Because I need a forever friend to trust with the intimacies of me, who won't hold them against me, who loves me when I'm unlikable, who sees a small child in me, and who looks for the divine potential of me. Because I need to cuddle in the warmth of the night with someone who thanks God for me, with someone I feel blessed to hold. Because marriage means opportunity to grow in love and in friendship. Because marriage is a discipline to be added to a list of achievements. Because marriages do not fail, people fail when they enter into marriage expecting another to make them whole. Because knowing this, I promise myself to take full responsibility for my spiritual, mental, and physical wholeness. I create me. I take half of the responsibility for my marriage. And together we create our marriage. Because of this understanding, the possibilities are limitless. The covenant which you are about to make with each other is meant to be a beautiful and sacred expression of your love for each other. As you pledge your vows to each other, and as you commit your lives to each other, we ask that you do so in all seriousness, and yet with a deep sense of joy, with deep conviction that you are committing yourselves to a dynamic, growing relationship of trust, mutual support, and caring love. So with this in mind, I now ask you, do you, Michael, take Jill to be your wife, to love her, comfort, and keep her, and forsaking all others, remain true to her for as long as you both shall live? And do you, Jill, take Michael to be your husband, to love him, comfort, and keep him, and forsaking all others, remain true to him for as long as you both shall live? Now that you have declared your intentions, I invite you to share your vows with one another. Michael, repeat to Jill after me these words. Jill, I have chosen you alone from all the world to be my wedded wife, to have and to hold from this day forward, for better, for worse, for richer, for poorer, in sickness and in health, to love and to cherish till death do us part. And Jill, we keep in mind, I can be first. Michael, I have chosen you alone from all the world to be my wedded husband, to have and to hold from this day forward, for better, for worse, for richer, for poorer, in sickness and in health, to love and to cherish, so death do us part. May we please have the ring. Thank 
you very much. These rings have no beginning and no end. They set forth the eternal nature of real love. They will represent the love and trust that Michael and Jill promised to each other this day. And Michael, will you take that ring and place it on Jill's finger? And as you do, repeat to her after me these words. I give you this ring as I give you myself with love and affection. Wear it in peace always. I give you this ring as I give you myself with love and affection. Wear it in peace always. Often marriage is viewed as a union of two people. Yet marriages not only unite the couple, it unites the families. Out of these two families, a new family will be created, thus offering unique and wonderful opportunities to simply increase the number of loving, caring relationships we have in our lives. Jill and Michael would like to take this moment to recognize the significant role that both of their families play in this marriage celebrated today. You are a family drawn together by love and held together by devotion. A blessing upon your marriage is from a poem titled The Day. May this be the start of a happy new life that's full of special moments to share. May this be the first of your dreams come true and of hope that will always be there. May this be the start of a lifetime of trust and of caring that's just now begun. May today be the day that you'll always remember, the day when your hearts become one. And so much as you, Michael, and you, Jill, have thus consented in matrimony and have witnessed the same before family and friends by virtue of the authority vested in me as an officiant and the laws of this state, I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss your bride. And a final blessing, may these two find happiness in the matrimony. May they live faithfully together. May they ever remain compassionate. May their years be rich in the joys of life and their days be long upon the earth. You want to get your bouquet back? It is with great honor I present to you Mr. and Mrs. Michael Steinberg.